Okay then, getting ready to go out and swap the uh, memory cards and see if I got any pictures on the game cameras. That's the mission for today, Ben. And you know what? You're going to stay here. Because I don't want you up around there. You'd just go there and eat all the dog food, wouldn't you? Anyway, I got some light clothes on. It's only, it's plus one outside, so. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you once we get up to the game cameras. Well, let's see a lot of... I think the coyote tracks. Seems a bit too big for fox. A few rabbit tracks. Rabbits. Rabbits. More rabbits. Dog of some sort, so I think it's a... Uh, I think it's too big for fox, but I'm not too sure. Not too good in tracks. Surprising, there's still some uh, dog food here. Frozen in the ground. Looks like a, something's been scraping at them. There's the one camera. And there's the other camera. So I'll get now to uh, switching out the memory cards, and I got some more dog food. And let it go for another four or five days. And also, I'm going to attempt to take these burrows off. And down there in the branch, it's going to be easy. So, oh, got hey. some more dog food there. I replaced the card in the other one, it's doing fine. This one appears like the batteries are dead. And it's only been on here for a little while. But this one was set to uh, film video, 15 second video. So maybe it just took so many video that it killed the batteries. I thought I had more batteries or the other uh, camera in my pack, but I don't. So I guess I'll take this in and uh, get it sorted out. Well, I got the, the lower burl off. It was on that branch. Looks big enough to make a cup out of, I don't know. I've never made a cup before, so let's start somewhere. I think I'll leave those two other ones on the tree for now, since I got one to play with. And uh, probably just as well just leave them on there because it's only a little bit of a short walk. Plus they're bigger. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I have the energy now to, to, to uh, saw them off. So I'll pack up my gear and head back to the, to the house. Hi there. Made it back home. Ben went psycho because he can't tell time. He doesn't know whether I was gone. Uh, I was gone 35 minutes or so. 40, 45. But you know a dog can't tell time, so it might as well have been 45 days. Right? Oh, I know. Anyway, so I'm about to get on the uh, computer, download all the images from my game cameras, if there are any. But I thought I'd get uh, the beer out of the way first. And what we got here is. Another Magic Hat, I think it is, from New England. Magic Hat Broom Company. Ow! Oh, right in the Canicles. Magic Hat Broom Company, South Burlington, Vermont. 5.7 alcohol. And it's called the G Thing. See? G Thing. And it's got a gingerbread man on it. So I think this is a spice. This is a with spice. Let's see what it says. The ancient ritual of brewing a distinctive reach and flavorful beer is a performance to behold. I'm going to shut this thing off. Our mysterious melange of time-honored ingredients harmonized with chaotic chemistry, humble patience, and blind faith to create this unique beer to share in the rousing company of kindred spirits. Cheers! Well, it doesn't say what's actually in it, though, for spice. Anyway, let's give her a try. Give the old pouring test. Ooh, it's a little dark. A little dark. Come on. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a. Uh, it is a dark beer. Darker than I thought it was coming out. I can't see through it. Smell test. I can't smell any spice on it. I hope there's enough light in here so uh, 
Peter Richter won't remind me again to get more lights. I got the blinds out of the way. Get her test. By God, it's good beer. Lots of taste. I can't really get, I'm not really getting any spice on it. Maybe a bit at the end, but I can't really, whether it's ginger, it must be ginger, because it's a G thing, ginger, man. Get the hell away from me, would you? Go play in the track. It's a really good beer. Burp. That was a two gulper. It's good beer, yeah. It's nice and smooth. There's hardly any like uh, aftertaste to it or acidy or anything like that. It goes down really smooth. It goes down like you should have another 24 of them or so. Well, here it is again. G thing. I hope that's picking that up. Magic Hat Brewery from Burlington, Vermont. So, next time in Vermont, I'm going to look out for these, or maybe they're uh, available all across New England. If they ever let me through the border again, that is. So, it's a good beer. G thing. Maybe it's only around Christmas that it comes. Would you get away? Yes. All right, then. I love you, okay? Sit. Sit. Good puppy. <laughs> So I'll switch off this part of the video, and then now I'll go through the pictures, and if there's anything good, I'll add it on to the end. Now, here comes another animal, Jeff. So you hang on tight, and if there's any pictures, I'll put them on here. And if not, this will be the end of the video. So Chris, out. But I may be coming back, with or without you, Jeff.